हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोरा टीजन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 37 फॉर जिम मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इन जेंगो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म दिस टास्क ओके इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दैट व्हाई वी वी शुड नीड द जेंगो चैनल्स और वेब सॉकेट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी विल लर्न हाउ टू सेंड द रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम ब्राउजर और क्लाइंट टू वेब सॉकेट ओके एंड व्हेन वी यूज द जेंगो चैनल्स we will we need to create consumers and routing so we will learn about the consumers and routing in the django channels we will learn how to create consumer how to create routing okay and how to implement these things in this video okay so let's uh, start with the first one that how we can send the uh, how we can send the request from our client to server okay and why we are need to send the request because when we are on this page then if uh, if our uh, data has been submitted like uh, if uh, some if admin save the notification in the database then server send the request to the notifications panel okay in this uh, in this uh, page okay and then uh, when this page will load then we will send the uh, message to the server that uh, we need all the notifications so this will be work like this whenever the data has been inserted in the database then we call the channel and the channel will send the data to the serve, uh, to the client and we can also send the uh, message or whatever we want from the client to server okay so this is two way communication so we will see that how we can send the request from our client with web socket okay so let's open our page uh, we will open our this uh, notifications panel so in the templates in the trainer we have notifs.html okay so here we have so now in this what we are going to do we will create the script so i will make it large okay so this is script and if you search on the web socket if you search on the web socket if you search web socket on the internet then what it will return it will return the result and we will go to the developer mozilla.org and it will show the all the things okay so that, that how we can communicate with in a web socket okay so we can read the all the documentation we will mainly use the on close on message on open and send request okay so how we can do that we can also refer this uh, uh, tutorial channel tutorial okay you can also refer this they are uh, they are also explaining everything from scratch they have also created the tutorial for the channel okay so here if you go to this here they have created this kind of thing okay so how we can send the request from browser to server okay so with the help of this thing we can create that so we can create let's say we have this thing we will say web socket equal to where web socket equal to new new web socket or we can copy this this thing we can copy this thing okay here just simply we don't need this uh, room name we are just sending this kind of thing okay so we will say ws notifications okay so we are sending uh, this url so remember that uh when we are sending the normal http then we are sending the url and that is that hit to the urls.py file and in our urls.py file that will uh connected with our views so similar in this thing we will when we hit the this uh, web socket url this will go to the routing and that routing will go to the consumer okay so views equal to our consumer if we are working in the web socket and routing is equal to the urls in a, a web socket protocol so we can do that kind of thing and of course we can mix two of things if we are working in web socket okay so we will explore those things because we are going to create the uh, messaging system we are going to create the notification system so we will explore as much as we can uh, for to the django channels okay so <clears throat> here it is now we have created this kind of thing we need to create that 
chat socket dot we can also say web socket okay so this is web socket and web socket on open on open that what we need to do we will say and this will give us event okay we will just simply console this event okay we will say open okay this is open now when we receive the message from the web socket then we will say on message okay we will say received okay and then if we want to close this then we will say on close closed okay so on open we will send the data we will also use the send method we will see that later but currently let's see this thing okay so we need this uh, we need to register this thing okay if, if if we not register this thing then it will say the closed okay let's refresh the page okay and here you can see that it is saying closed because connection is closed connection is not open we need to uh, also open the collection uh, connection on the server side also okay so what we will do here now the work we will start so we have uh, we are sending the request from the browser now we will create the consumer and routing okay uh, uh, we are sending this url this will go to go into the routing and then it the routing will go into the consumers okay so first thing we will create routing okay so let's go to main and here we will create the routing so what i will do i will just simply copy the urls.py file and here i will say routing okay routing and we will open this okay so we have created lots of things here so i will remove this just simply we need path so i will say ws patterns equal to and we will say path and pa in this path we need to define what we are sending okay so here we are sending ws notifications and we need to create consumers okay so from from dot import consumers i know that we uh, didn't create this but we will create this soon okay dot as asgi like as view you can see we are uh, we send uh, let's uh, say this uh, uh, from consumers from consumers this is not consumer actually this will be from consumers we will import notification consumer okay this kind of thing and this will be as asgf okay and now let's create the consumers.py file consumers.py file and here what we will do here we need to extend the inherit the channel class sorry extend uh, not extend inherit the channel class so what we will do here we will go to the consumers okay and we need to inherit the uh, web socket consumer okay so this class so here we will create this we will import this from here okay so here we have imported and now we will create notification consumer i have already defined the name here so i will say this thing okay and this will be go here okay now in this we need to define uh, three met methods the first one is the first one is the first method is connect so when we uh, when it will connect with the when it will connect with the web socket okay let's say pass currently we will see this later and then we need to define disconnect if we want to disconnect the connection okay and then we can define receive receive okay when we receive something textual data here okay always we will uh, receive as a text data okay we will explore uh, format uh, later but currently we are receiving the textual data okay 
so so this is connect this is receive and this is disconnect so we can see this the according to the sequence we can say this thing. oh where it is yeah so here it is okay now here we will say here we will say simply uh, self dot accept we will when we it will connect we will accept the connection and in the in the receive what we are going to do here we are going to do we will send the data let's say this is hello world when we will receive some data then we will send some data that hello world uh, or you can say simply this is from server okay and it if it disconnect then we will simply say then what we are going to say we will simply say this is let's say close code we simply show the code okay we simply just show the code so here it is self dot close okay and we will show the code so this is the thing okay so we have created this consumer now we need to bind this routing we have bind this consumer in the routing and we need to register this routing in the asgi similarly uh, we uh, like we register our app urls in our project url so similarly we will need to register this routing dot py file in our asgi okay so this is, will be in this file asgi and we need to do some uh, uh, pre uh, for uh, pre uh, defined things here we need to import uh, let's say we need to import this is routing and we need to import, import the uh, protocol router and url router okay so this thing we are not uh, going to define currently the authentication or other things we just define the uh, connection between the client and the web socket server okay so currently i will just uh, commenting this so application equal to so this will be protocol router and this will be a dictionary and then we will define this will be a web socket and here we will define the url router okay and in this what we are going to do uh, we will say from uh, what is the name of our app that is a main main dot routing okay so this will be from we will simply say import main dot routing okay so we will simply say main dot routing dot ws patterns okay now we have registered our we have bounded all the things okay now it should work so let's go to home page and refresh the page here and it is saying something that cannot import a module let's disconnect this and re uh, rerun the server okay restart the re restart our server okay so again it is saying that uh, something is missing here uh, line number three in the routing line number three it is saying from consumers from dot from dot consumers okay from dot consumers we are saying this okay so here you can see that now it is working let's refresh our page and here it is uh, saying that uh, what it is saying that this is closed okay currently it it means it is not sending it it is not going to this pattern and this is notifications not notification uh, this is notifications and window this is something and uh, okay we need to send some data actually we need to send the data so that it will uh, we are sending the uh, data in our receive 
when we receive some data then we are sending but we are not sending any data so here we will say a uh, web socket web socket dot send okay and we always send data as a json so we will go to this they have explained the things so we will uh, copy here so they are they are sending like a uh, uh, let's say they are just stringify the data and sending this so we will simply say message and here we will say uh, from client okay so this is the thing now let's go to and check okay so there may be some issue in this okay so i know that why it is not working we need to remove this slash actually when we are sending this okay so we need to remove the we are just adding this slash uh bef bef after this host but we don't need this slash this before ws okay now let's check this uh, again refresh it okay so here you can see that received and if you go to the network if you go to the network you go to the notification so this message is from client and this is from server so you can see that it uh, instantly uh, server instantly responding okay so this is the power of web socket okay so i think we have created uh, all the topics we have uh, seen that how we can send the request from the, the web socket and uh, we have we have seen that uh, what is consumer and what is routing in django channels how we can create the consumer and how we can create the routing so consumer is similar to views and routing is similar to our urls okay so uh, keep this in mind then you you can uh, clear the concept okay and we will explore all the things when we go to uh, deep in this notification section in this uh, messages section we will do lots of things okay so maybe you not understand video at first time but i will request to practice as much as you can uh, you you can go to this documentation you can go to this uh, channel's documentation uh, uh, watch this repeat uh, watch this video in a repeat mode like two to three times then you can understand okay and if you have any doubt and any query then please add in the comment section okay so let's meet in the next video and uh, i will try to complete the notification section then we will move to the uh, messages section okay so thanks for watching this video thank you so much and please subscribe like this channel thank you so much